Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over a new feature that I just added to TextMesh Pro, which will greatly improve your workflow when you're working with color gradients. So let's take a look. I will select this text object to bring up the inspector panel. Now the ability to use a color gradient has been in TextMesh Pro for quite a while. Um, and let's take a look at how we access that feature. So here you can see that we can uh, select the vertex color for the text object, but by enabling color gradient, we were always able to set up the gradient by defining the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right color. Now, this has uh, worked very well. So if I am to select, let's say the top color and making it red uh, or kind of orangey, we can see that the colors are changing here, which is fine. Now, the reason for the new feature is pretty simple. Assuming you have like a scene with 50 different objects, all using, let's say, two different types of gradients, if you wanted to tweak one of those gradients, you would have to manually go through each object and change the gradient on each of them because the gradient is basically uh, unique to each text object. Well, the change that I made to improve the workflow is you now will have the ability to create a gradient preset, which you can then assign to an object or a group of objects. And then by changing this preset, it will affect it or affect the gradient on all text objects. So let's actually take a look at this. So let's assign this purple gradient to this top object. So if I go here to my panel and select the purple one, you can see that the gradient now on the top object is the same as these three. Now, if I was to manually change this gradient here, you can see that it's affecting all three objects that share this gradient. So this will make it a lot easier and a lot quicker to manage and modify gradients on groups of objects uh, in your scene. Now, uh, how do you create these color gradients? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, let me fix this purple. Actually, let's test the undo, uh, which does work. That's good. Uh, I forgot to just show this part. If you go to the color gradient itself and you change the gradient itself and not necessarily the object, you can see that the change is still affecting all the objects. Okay. So how do you create these? Uh, you simply select a folder where you want to place them. You right click to bring up the context menu. Let me right click here so we can see it. You go to create and you're gonna have this new option called Text Mesh Pro Vertex Color Gradient. And as you do so, it creates a new one. By default, it's set to white. Uh, so let's go assign it to our top object here. So we can play with it. I could define the colors here or go back to my gradient itself. And let's just set up uh, just for simplicity simplicity, uh, just a grayscale gradient. And here we've done it. So you can see it's pretty easy now to work with gradients and affect uh, a bunch of objects. Another cool th thing is if I was to uh, clear the scene and go change, for example, the purple gradient, which we know that a few objects are using, I'll change this to yellow so we will, so the changes will be apparent. If I reload this same scene, which is here, you'll see that the purple one now has the yellow at the top. As a matter of fact, if I select that object, you can see that it's using the modified uh, vertex color gradient that we created. So this is basically it for this new feature. It's a simple little feature. Uh, hopefully you'll find it useful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to post or uh, get back to me. Thanks.